Coach, first of all, how are you and what's going on? Yeah, Paul, uh, good to be with you. I thought I'd throw my two cents in on last weekend. Uh, obviously, Colorado beating TCU down there, a team that was 1-11 in 11 the year before. And TCU, of course, finished second in the nation, 12 wins and all that. And, uh, of course, it's not the same Colorado team. It's a completely new team. And that athletic director at Colorado, he's getting all the praise now for hiring Dion, Coach Prime. Coach Prime assembled a group of guys and went down there and won the game. And uh, I was watching it with my wife, Jerry. And she said, are you pulling for Colorado? I said, you dang right I'm pulling for them. I, I love Coach Dykes and, and TCU, and they had a heck of a year last year. But this is historical a team that was nowhere, and now all of a sudden they're beating uh, one of the best teams in the country. So, anyway, it was, it was a fun game to watch. And then uh, my Dukies, uh, Coach Elko, uh, he's, an, he's another one of these coaches. I mean, he's not quite as loud as Coach Prime, but I guarantee <laughs> you he tells his guys, we're as good as they are, now let's go play, and we play well, we can beat these guys. Pretty simple. And they played better in Clemson the other night, and they matched up well. And uh, I, I really think Duke's got a chance for a big year also. Coach, uh, a couple of things I want to I dig into on both those subjects. Uh, in terms of what he, the transformation of, of Deion Sanders, what, what do you see yeah. when you watch one of his teams play? Because uh, we point to him, but there's, there's a lot else going on there. Oh, exactly. Uh, you know, a lot of the media or whatever say, well, he's real loud and this, that, and the other. But he, he's a ball coach, too, and he's got his guys prepared, and he's got a good coaching staff, Paul. I don't know the name of his offensive coordinator, but they know what they're doing. And his son, Shadir, I mean, he is a good player. Gosh, he throws a catchable ball. <laughs> That's how he throws 510 yards, set all kind of records in his first game ever in, uh, you know, Division One or whatever. But uh, it, it – it, the, what was sort of fascinating also is I think Rick Neuheisel said it. He said, who'd ever thought the second week of the season, Boulder, Colorado is going to be the center of college football when they play Nebraska. And I know a lot of people think Alabama and Texas is big, but to me, I, I think Colorado and Nebraska is the biggest game in the nation this week. Well, Coach, every, uh, again, I mean, we both, everywhere I go, and I know everywhere you go, I mean, you, you operate a restaurant, people are talking about, I mean, I, I, I've been on our, the network all week. Uh, Bama, Texas has barely been mentioned, uh, and I think that, <laughs> that, that proves your yeah. point. Um, and, yeah. and I want to go uh, next to, to – But the, I do think Alabama's going to beat Texas. Let me throw that in there. Okay. I, think, uh, I think they'll beat Texas – one or two touchdowns. At least. I don't know. Did, I don't know. Did you have a chance to see any of that game? Because I'm, I was curious your thoughts on uh, the maturation of Jalen Milrow. I didn't see a lot of that, but I do know, uh, just like Auburn and Hugh Freeze, you see the highlights. Uh, these teams that have a quarterback that can run, uh, it's <laughs> it is extra special, and. Uh, even in the uh, the Duke win, uh, their quarterback Riley Leonard had about a 35, 40 yard touchdown run, and it looks like the Clemson players weren't even trying to tackle him. He scooted down the sidelines and and went in. But I tell you what, those quarterbacks that can run a bit uh, are very good. But also uh, the Colorado quarterback Shadir, he can run a bit, but he's boy, he's a beautiful passer. So. Uh, the ability to run is good, but uh, when you can do both, uh, that's certainly the best. Uh, your, your, your former team, South Carolina, struggled uh, Saturday night. I don't know how much you saw of that, but I, I think we're, we, all, we all would be curious what, you, what your impressions were. Yeah, they didn't look very good. Sometimes, sometimes the offseason hype, and there was a lot of hype up there from what I heard. Uh, about how good maybe they're going to be this year and this, that, and the other. So they got to come back down to earth. Uh, a lot of teams don't play well their first game. The Gators went out to Utah, did not play very well at all. And uh, we got to regroup. And uh, we got a team, hopefully we can beat McNeese State this week. Uh, <laughs> but Tennessee's next week. So that will that'll be a big, big game really for both schools next week. Yeah, and, and Coach, uh, I, I asked Tebow this question the other day, and, and you and Tebow were sitting in the same boat in terms of uh, the most revered, along with Danny Werfel, of Florida players in modern history. What, what, what do you say to folks who come in your restaurant or stop you on the street and say, Coach, what's going on here? Well, we're not 
we're not overly positive, but we got to sort of say, hey, you know, maybe, you know, we haven't quite hit our stride yet or whatever. But, uh, yeah, last week was uh, a little bit embarrassing with all the penalties and this, that, and the other. And, uh, yeah, we don't look very good. Yeah, we don't look uh, like we're totally ready to play. And coaches, the coaches, Billy Napier said, we made some coaching mistakes and errors here, there, and the other. So, well, let's let's quit doing all that stuff and compete. And if we're not good enough, then try to recruit our way out of it. But, uh, yeah, last week's history. And, you know, if we'd played one of those down-the-line teams at home and won 45 to 10 or something, everybody would be happy right now. Uh, but still, uh, we we got to play a lot better and coach better than what we've done lately. Did you see, if you saw any of the Tennessee game, I'm curious what, what you make out of Joe Milton and, and how he performed uh, in his debut as well. Not yeah, as I think he's a good player. I think Tennessee's going to be good. I, I'm really uh, looking forward to that game two weeks from now. Uh, Tennessee comes down to the swamp. Uh, I, I, they may have, the last time they beat us down here, might have been my last year, 2001. They sort of upset us. We had a heck of a team and uh, – and, and so forth. But uh, anyway, uh, yeah, a week, uh, two weeks from now, when Tennessee comes to the swamp, uh, are y'all coming to that game? Uh, Coach, I, I would say right now I would bet on us being there, yes. Okay, maybe I'll see you guys down here. But yeah, that'll be a big one for both schools, certainly. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.